Today on Cars and Cameras, we are at the Virginia International Raceway go-kart track for a head-to-head -head David versus Goliath challenge. So on the left, we have Charles' 2013 Epic Racing chassis that he bought for 500 bucks. It's covered in dust. It has a Briggs LO206 unknown uh, practice engine on it that makes a lot of power, but we don't know anything about it. Basically, classic cars and cameras. And on the right, we have Goliath. It's a Tillotson T4 racing cart from GoPowerSports.com. It has high-tech steering. It has an Alfano 6 dashboard. It has a Tillotson 225cc engine producing 15 horsepower. So on today's episode, we're going to find out just how close you can get a $500 go-kart to a $4,250 go-kart around a circuit track. With the wrong gearing. Basically, abandoned built versus brand new bot. And we're gonna have a special guest, American Express 2.0, highly modified, built by our friend of the channel, Wyatt. So without any further ado, we're gonna start with a head-to-head -head challenge, and then we're all gonna trade off and do a flying lap each. So they're gonna start with a warm-up lap to heat up the tires and the engines, and then they're going green for five laps. Here we yep. go. Oh my goodness, that's yeah, super fresh, buddy. There you go. is I can't carry power into the corner. Yeah. Now let me know if you're going to be passing me. Yeah, I, okay, that's fair. Uh-oh, I'm sliding. Uh-oh, I'm off the track. Oh. Are you off the track? No, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back in. Let me know if I need to slow down for you. Well, yeah, but it's okay. Okay, I'm slowing down some. Yeah, I, and this thing does not quarter at all. Let me know when I need to match the gas. You, you, oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, this thing is not good on asphalt, but that's okay. I got to slow down for you again. Okay. I'll get right behind you on the straight. Go. I got it to the floor. Okay. I'm, I spun out. Yeah. I got it, I got it. supposed to do. 
is supposed to be a very well performing go kart. Yeah. I mean, and this this go kart isn't even supposed to turn right. We got one more lap. Let's make it a good one. There's the checkered flag. Uh-oh, oh! Uh -oh. In the mud! In the mud! Hold on, I'm coming. I'm slow, I'm slowing down. Ah. You okay? Yeah. Alright, here, I'll come help you. Woo, I got it muddy. Oh, man. That's okay. You won the race, but, uh, uh, but you lost the win. <laughs> <laughs> that was a... Oh, man. You got the poopy on it. I got the poopy on it. Uh, oh, man. Dude, that, that's the first time that car has ever been off the track. Oh! That's good. Yeah. Hey, I want someone else to drive this and see what kind of animal I'm wrestling with. Um, well, I'm glad everybody's okay. Thank you. But you're the first person to put my go-kart in the grass. Someone had to do it. Yeah, you're always the one, it seems like. <laughs> uh, well, that looked like it was a handful, guys. How did it seem, How did it seem to you? Uh, it was okay. Um, this thing does not, it's not meant for this track. But I think with a little bit better setup, maybe it could handle better. Yeah. But it's not, it's meant to turn left. And that's what this chassis set up for. Yeah. You can clearly tell that this chassis set up for left and right. And uh, I, I just came into that corner a little bit too hot. So oh, I did that. It did great I did that everywhere else. Everywhere else it was fantastic. But I got a little bit overconfident because uh, I won that race and uh, hey, well, I sent it a little bit too hard. Good job, buddy. Yeah, thank you. They looked, well, Charles had a hard time with spinning. I think we should each get maybe three laps, and we take the fastest out of each three laps. Each person goes alone on the track. Okay. And uh, we see which one, what the time difference really is between these. Sounds good to me. So at this point, we're going to find out just how much performance difference we're talking about between these two go-karts with just individual, one person at a time, hot laps. We're also going to throw in our buddy Wyatt's Built to the Hilt American Express 2.0 that revs to over 9,000 RPM. He's made a whole lot of modifications to it. It is freaking cool. I will link a bunch of the parts in the description. They're all from gopowersports.com, at least the base go-kart. American Express 2.0 underneath all that custom work is an American Express 2.0 from Go Power Sports. If you also like the Tillotson T4, you can check that out at links in the description as well, as well as some parts on Charles's flat cart. Of course, anytime you place an order with Go Power Sports, let them know at checkout that Cars and Camera sent you. Okay, so we gotta figure out how many laps we're doing, what kind of timing we're doing, We'll see you at the start line. All right, so John is first on the Tillotson go-kart. He's gonna be first. Charles is gonna be second. I'm gonna be third. And we're gonna be doing this on three different go-karts, but we're starting off with the Tillotson. And the lowest time wins out of three laps each. Are you ready, sir? I'm ready, I'm ready. Fire him up, Charles. <laughs> I like found the move. You need to find that rev limiter, though. Yeah, like you found the ditch. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it'll it'll hold. Yeah, I'm on the limiter. Okay. Yeah, no, it can take it. It just got to drive it quicker. I know why it drives so good because of match tires. Yeah. Secret set of match tires from Days of Thunder. Pass on the outside. She will hold. <laughs> Woo! It'll buck ya. Alright, so am 
I done now? I believe you're done, sir. Next up, we have Charles's retired oval cart with old tires and unknown Briggs practice engine. You know, a classic cars and cameras type of go-kart. Let's see how the lap time stacks up against our fastest lap of 40.22 seconds in the T4. cart definitely felt like a fish out of water on this road course. It was a lot twitchier and drifted a lot more than the T4. And of course, drifting is fun, but it's not always great for lap times. Overall, it was a much more dramatic experience, but a good bit slower and a bit sketchier. Finally, we have a heavily modified American Express 2.0 from Go Power Sports, built by our good buddy at the track. There's more money in parts here alone than the entire T4 kit. the triathlon of go-karts today they were all so much different from one another uh, of course ike took the w in our first circuit race uh, but i was a little bit quicker across the board uh, in all these three carts they were all a ton of fun the t4 definitely handled the best this was kind of sketchy vibrated you to death and charles's cart it was sketchy but i had a lot of fun on it what do you boys think my favorite was the tillotson t4 it handled the best. The power was there. The gearing was a little bit off. I will say the gearing was wrong for this track. So Charles's, I still love it. That thing was fun. Well, I'll have to say, guys, this was the best day at work ever. And the T4, this was my first time running it. I love this go-kart. I'm glad we have it on our fleet. Now this thing, this was like, oh my God, I felt, I felt like a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest driving this. It was... I'm glad you guys got to experience it, so it was I'm not fun. lying. It was fun. I, uh, I enjoyed it. Yep. So the yard cart had way more power than the T4, and the T4 was definitely the most confidence-inspiring go-kart. The handling on these two, the outer two, a little sketchy at times, but the T4 was solid across the board. Uh, so if you want to check out any of these carts or parts that we used in today's episode, you can find them at links in the description. They're from our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com. Uh, we have to thank Virginia International Raceway Cart Track for staying open all day for us to have a good time out here. This was one of the best days at work ever, and I uh, can't wait to come back soon. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. If you were closely paying attention, you'll notice that the American Express 2.0 with its 9,000 RPM engine actually was three hundredths quicker than our best time on the Tillotson T4. But the T4 is designed to lap around the track all day, every day like that. Where is the dirt track, the dirt cart, you're going to uh, overheat the brakes, and the yard cart, you're going to overheat the brakes, and the seat's probably going to come loose and you're probably gonna break a spindle because it's not built for that kind of cornering or speed. So the Tillotson T4 is the uh, hands down winner if you're going racing. Now we have a lot of Tillotson T4 content coming up soon. So I want you to let me know in the comments, how would you like this racing content to be edited and presented and formatted so that it's most entertaining for you? Because 
It's going to require a little bit different formatting than what we're used to, but it's still a ton of fun nonetheless. Uh, finally, financing is available for the Tillotson T4. So right now they're $4,250 if you were to buy, buy them outright. But again, financing is available uh, just to make that a little bit easier uh, than buying it all up front like that. So visit gopowersports.com. Use the links in the description. Buy a T4. Let me know on Instagram and let's go racing together. Catch y'all next time. <laughs> Well, what it was is I just came over the hill, and you see I, I, hit that, I hit that yellow. Yeah, you hit the tires yellow. Yeah. the brakes. Before the yellow, and then. Yeah, and that, that was pretty much it. Oh, that was it? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, you can see from the beginning. Like, I, hope you, I don't think you bottomed it. No, I don't. It didn't, I didn't feel it hit, like, bottom or anything. I just kind of went only off where, the track. The only where it hit bottom was. Is the grass.